hi, welcome home. Let me let me do it like this. Hi. Okay, so now I'm the actual designer of this launch pad. Um it is well it's more of the SN5 launch pad than the SN8, although it's kind of similar, so you can use it in both ways. Maybe I'll ever put out a better one. Um but this is how the parts are printed. Well actually this is the orientation. The pad is printed with the top structure down and supports for the uh, leg supports where the thrust ram was supposed to go. I did in Kira, I did split this part and I blocked the support halfway so I can easily pull out the support because right now it's quite easy. Um, the gap between the support layer and the um, the top of the actual print is not one but two layers, so I can pull it off a bit more. Um, uh, and I think that's it. The well, GSE box thingy is supported, uh, printed like this. And the pipes are kind of a bit tricky to print, but once you get them correctly printed, like it should be fine. Um, same as the structure, uh, two layer support, uh, uh, two layers between the support and the bottom of the print. Um, I think there's only one way to print this, and that's this way. Um, and yeah, the top deck. Uh, it has these notches because it was supposed to be, it's designed for a paper model. Um, I'll put the link for that in the description. Alfonso is kind enough to provide all of you with that for free. And um, yeah, let's get to building this. So I need my tweezers. Yes, there we go. Now there is, these are, um, it depends on how you printed them. Oh, there's still one more support. But if you have the two layers between the uh, thing I did and, uh, or the two layers, you should be able to just do it with your fingers. I don't know, the, the top looks a bit meh, but if you really want is this is the easiest way to remove the support without breaking it. Just tap it on the work surface. So there we have it, the complete stand structure. And right now, let's move on to the pipes. Oh. This is probably one of the trickiest parts to remove. I always give it a few snaps like this. Sometimes the pipes do break because they're quite thin. Um, a bit of instant glue should fix that. Um, mine did break as well right now, but no need to panic if that happens. Um, I've had it happen quite a few times. Uh, yeah, and then we all have those tiny 
support thingies. Just a few layers of support so it doesn't hang about. Yeah, probably could improve the printing quality of mine, but for now it's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that without. So the way I um, put the pipes in because uh, some people have had problems with that is you put them in like oh, like this try and squeeze them around these other four legs then with a tiny bit of pressure you should be able to put it in without it breaking so it like leans against the back then you pull up the back and make sure the metal supporty thingies are over and then it gets stuck in these two let's turn it around so you can actually see it and i just press these in and then it should slide over and that way you should have the it, it fits snugly if you do it correctly it should be uh, you should be able to move it around and don't put glue on it don't put instant glue on it before you actually put it together if you have a different glue that takes longer time you can do that but i prefer to do it with instant glue because yeah, i'm kind of lazy uh yeah this is supposed to go in like this and then we have the web box which should be able to snap in on the back and then I glue the uh, glue this on there uh, but there's one thing you need to pay attention to that these are there's one with a triangle above and then one of the points is kind of cut off this is supposed to go at the the GC box side so that should be this and then you glue it in and it should be fine then um i forgot to print those i don't have them laying around right now but if you um have done that you have almost a complete um stand because the if you can actually see them yeah these notches right here on the legs i don't know if you're Going to be able to see them notches you have a top one oh there's one right on this side i think yes uh just that's a mirror image of my this is annoying uh there's a top notch and a bottom notch if you have the um leg attachment files uh that's just one of these um things it's i don't know exactly what the function is but it's a sort of shield um with their legs they're supposed to be uh, able to snap on in into this spot um it might require some filing or some sanding to get it correctly but uh, you should be able to stick them in and that's it for the stand assembly